All right, 10 feet away. Yes, please, Miss Walker. We thought about it, didn't we? Yeah. Thought about it and ex about it. Thought about it and executed it. Thought about it and executed it. <laughs> Hi guys, Rory here from Your Golf Travel. Day two of the Costa del Sol, Costa del Sol tour, sorry. Joined again by Miss Sophie Walker. We're on the Asia course today, beautiful morning here in Spain. And we've decided to do foursomes. Got a bit of a busy day today, we're shooting off to another venue later on this afternoon. So to speed things up, in theory, we're gonna play alternate shot. And that looks an awful lot like my driver, Sophie. Yes. So I've looked at all the stats, all the <laughs> strokes gained, and Rory is going to take the first tee shot here. Or it looks a bit hilly. I'm a little bit stiff. I've not had a warm up. So over to you, Rory. <laughs> Thanks, Sophie. <Oph. laughs> I'm not sure you can hit it any better than that, Rory. Yeah, I think that's exactly good. where you were aiming at the cart path in the distance. Hint a draw. Lovely. Um, Sophie's just chipping up. She's got the, basically the whole green to work with. I'm not sure how she's going to play this. I'm guessing she'll throw it reasonably far and then let it run out 15, 20 feet, that sort of thing. A bit more run out required, but uphill, birdie putt on the first. Foursomes, we will take it. Oh, here's it. Uh, I think we can give ourselves we up, can't we? Yeah. yeah. You're not gonna miss that. No, let's, let's par on the first. So level par after one, uh, and as we said yesterday, the Asia course here is one of three 18-hole golf courses on the resort, and we think this is the other one that would have taken up part of your Q school back in the day. Yeah, so there used to be the north and the south course here. To be honest, it was a while ago, <laughs> so I'm, I, the memory's slowly coming back to me. Yeah, well, I remember when we got into the first tee, and I said this first tee shot is a bit of a funky one. You 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 saw it, and you went, oh. It didn't really strike me as someone who remembered it all that well. No, uh, maybe, uh, it'll come back to me. Maybe it'd be like yesterday and we'll get to the 16th tee and you'd be like, yeah, no, I have played this <laughs> Yeah, course. I've played all of this course. <laughs> oh. Right, 350 par four, straight up the hill. Uh, looks fairly straightforward. Massive target for Soph to aim in for, especially Soph. Uh, so yeah, just plonk one down there, Soph, and okay. you my questionable line play can <laughs> ruin it for us. Behind you, Rory, is unbelievable. Yep. The Mihas. Are they mountains? The Mihas Mountains. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I'm not sure that's the actual name of the mountain, but that is the area. Well, it's Mihas, it isn't it? Yeah. Well, I think I need to get the wide lens to get that in. <laughs> right, yeah, it's in. <laughs> I can be confident on those. So your lady of your caliber oh, is yeah, not is that missing what you're these. Doing? Get yeah. That. yeah. No, oh, they're good greens though this morning, aren't they? Yeah. No one's been on them. Yeah, well done. Okay. Four well, five star is not disastrous with me. We haven't lost the ball and actually we're slightly disappointed, aren't we? Yeah. That we've won over. So there we go. It's high up here, isn't it? Yeah. Another hitting it off the edge of the planet kind of shot. So we've gone from like severely uphill on the last hole to the complete opposite here. I mean, it's, it's that downhill, you can barely see the flag. Yeah. Stay there. Oh, you're joking. I've pitched just past pin eye and on the fringe, we think, but that, yeah, I can see, I thought it was span left, but no. Something to do with gravity, I think. Uh, yes, yeah, it's slim. <laughs> Very hard shot. 
just a poor tee shot from me really. She's done pretty well. Par putt. Should be saying that a lot on holes where I'm hitting the approaches. I think we can give ourselves that one. Yeah, I got down there and I was like, actually that's quite high. So well, I was saying to the guys <laughs> on camera, yeah. I said you can just about see Sophie's head. Oh yeah, no, it's no, gone. <laughs> no, yeah, so. Oh well, par bogey bogey. It's Could okay. be worse. All right, playing back into the sun again. Um, I think when we get to the end of this hole, we kind of turn left and go, hopefully with the sun for a while. Oh, that annoying sun. <laughs> yeah, here's me complaining about the sun in October. Yeah. 10.30 in the morning, it's probably about 25 degrees. This is where another feature of La Cala is like the ravines, isn't it? Yeah. I'm sure on the Asia course, there's some significant ravines. But yeah, pick the tee you're going off wisely, because That's a very good piece enough, of advice. Really. Yeah. So this for me, I'm off the yellows. I think this is borderline for me. So uh, So you're kind of playing up the right a yeah, little bit? Up the right. Yeah, so there's basically what so saying and we'll get a decent idea on camera, but all of this, like we'll find balls if it's on the right, but you can see here on the left that is just bye bye golf ball if it heads in that direction, she doesn't get all of it. But I think yeah, down the right. She's fine. Down the right. Drive her up the right and longish par four. As described, yeah, yeah, that's fine. It's very safe, isn't it, down there? And it'll kick left. Yep. yep. Middle of the fairway by the time that finishes, I think. <music> right, good shot called from Soph. Middle-ish of the green. Um, very safe. But to be honest with you, with my wedge play, I'm just happy that she's putting. It's a birdie putt. Break, break, break! Oh, oh my god! Are you kidding me? Oh. Oh, I mean, that's a gimme, but wow, I totally thought that was dropping yeah, at some point. So did I. We'll give ourselves that. We've made yeah. a par. Great effort, Soph. Two over through four. Right, so so if you obviously have retired from professional golf. Yeah, I need a handicap, don't I? I'm yeah, going to so do that in the next year. So no you're a member of it. two courses mm -hmm. back up north where you live. Yeah. Um, so what do we I'm think? Predictions for your first handicap when you put some cards in. I mean, it's obviously going to be hovering around scratch or better, right? Yeah, I right? think so. I think if I put a bit of effort in, it'll, it'll be under. But the new handicap system, everybody I've met seems to be like one or two lower than they think they should be. Yeah, mine hasn't really, so, I, I mean, I've not played in enough competitions to make it change that much, but it hasn't, yeah, my index when it came out was 7.2, so I actually went mm. down, I think. Yeah, everyone seems to have gone down. I quite like the idea of being able to transfer it. So yeah. you come to La Cala, this course is harder than the two courses that I play at home, and you get a few more shots depending on what tee you play. Quite like the fluidity of it. So I do need to get, I do need to get handicap. But for day, today, I think I'll just play me off scratch and then, yeah. You'll play off your, is it seven or do you maybe uh, get one reckon, more, is it eight? Probably eight, I haven't looked at the conversion chart yeah. again, but I would guess eight. But we're just going to aim for a gross score, aren't we? Yeah, we are. That means we've got to finish the hole. <laughs> <laughs> and just to give you guys some context, we are playing off the yellows today. There is one more tee set behind us and the maximum length of the Asia course here at La Cala is 6,500 yards. We're playing it at about 6'1", 6'2"-ish. So about the same length as my home course and kind of the same length that you might be playing LET tour, courses yeah. back in the day, maybe slightly shorter. Yeah, well, I think LET is around six three to be honest, but it, around here it, it's the difference of that and that. So you yeah. can have a one fifty shot and it plays one eighty. You can have a one fifty shot, it plays one twenty. So yeah. yeah, the yardage is deceiving in the sense. So. Right, so par five down a massive hill. Again, backdrop absolutely spectacular. I think there's a fair amount of room down there, so so I might try and. Give this one a bit of oomph and get us home in two if we can. Pick up a birdie maybe. At the bunker, so it's not too bad line wise. Safe as hell, he's down yeah. there. That was hit, hit fairly well as well, so hopefully we're in range in two. Right, right side of the fairway located and a flat lie. You're welcome, Sophie. <laughs> This approach for a par five is so tight. You've got 
Big Watt has left a massive slope on the right with bunker as well. So, so it's definitely in range. I think it's 173-ish. Oh, yeah, it's definitely in range. It's, it's, it's almost working out where the miss is. So you think the miss is probably short, isn't it? Yes. It's definitely not left. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, so what's your kind of clubbing from 173-ish? I'm, I'm, I'm going to hit 5 iron. Then I think it will will be short if that's the miss. Yes, I do see what you mean. So if you kind of like absolutely rip one, it will be right good. Front, yeah, yeah. So we're aiming kind of front edge two front putts edge. for a birdie kind of theory. Yeah. Um, not an easy one. Get yeah, right. Yeah, oh, it's it will be short. Pretty much on it if it's if it's. Yeah, we'll see what the up. does. Yeah, Careful, it's a good shot. I think I would say. Yeah, that I mean, was awesome, wasn't it? <laughs> it's, su well, it's such a tight approach that yeah. you do kind of have to be that way, don't you? Because yeah. you can turn, you know, we should still be making birdie from where we've just hit it. Hopefully. And, well, but you can so easily get a bit greedy and be like, oh, no, we're making bogey now or a double. It's, it's yeah. a quite cute little par five. Fun tee Risk. shot down the hill and then. Risk yeah. All right, 10 feet away. Yes, please, Miss Walker. We thought about it, didn't we? Yeah. We thought about it, it and ex about it, it. Thought about it, 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 it. Thought about it, it, it <laughs> and executed it, it, it. <laughs> Lovely approach shot, partner. Thanks. Okay, this one, dog leg left, is it? I think it must be, yeah. Uh, yeah. So you just wallop one straight up the middle. <laughs> yeah, spot on. Nice forward flight on that one. Yeah, chasey. Yeah. Perfect. 110 yardage, is that right? It is, yeah. I think you want to be just over the edge of these trees. I've gone and had a little drive round. Yeah, so it's also almost like between the crane and the trees in the distance. Yeah, I think if you finish it on the edge of the trees, it, it's good because the pin's on the right, so you don't want to be you don't want to be any further right than those trees, Rory. Yeah. Hmm. I'm guessing that's short. I'm guessing it's right. Not drastically, but I think you're probably chipping. Developments. You can leave your putt. <laughs> well, it was right of the pin, and it was short of the pin. Yeah, but, but only like ten feet. Ten feet, yeah. Uh, that has surprised me quite a lot. I was driving up thinking, how come we haven't seen it yet in the little runoff? And pop, op she pups, and. But I think that's good because you said. I'm not going to hit 52, I'm going to hit my wedge. So we've had this discussion of maybe taking that little bit more. Bit more yeah. And, and it's paid off. Go on, Soph. If someone had told me that we'd make a birdie in foursomes, I'm not sure I'd believe them. <laughs> Another par three for the Iron Magician. Uh, yeah, we've not thought this through, have we? No, basically I didn't fancy the first tee shot, so. Like someone else, Laura Davis was like that at the Solheim. She just used to say, I'm not taking the first tee shot. Never used to even think about par threes or reachable par fives. Okay. So I'm taking a taking Laura Davis, Dame Laura Davis advice. Yeah, but you know, if we had looked at the scorecard, we probably thought, probably one Sophie hitting on yeah. most of the par threes. But Oh well, so it's 123 yards, bit up the hill, playing. We'll play it a club uphill, I reckon. Yeah. Middle of the bunker. Four miles left, fat and short. Oi! Oh, it's hit a tree. I don't think Sophie is used to playing quite so many chip shots in the first six holes. I think she's hit three or four now. Mm, getting fiddly. And she's played a really nice shot and sit. Yeah. It's good from where she was. There's a, a pattern little... emerging, it's so when I'm hitting approach shots, we seem to be making bogeys, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Your chipping needs to get better. It does, yeah. <laughs> right, 370 yard par four. Um, just straight down, isn't it? Straight back into the mountains. Eight hole. How was your breakfast this morning, Rory? It was very healthy. 
was, wasn't that? I that? abstained from the fried foods. I just had a big plate of fruit and a yogurt yeah. and a bit of juice. What was nice is we had breakfast at what, 10 past nine and teed off at 10 to 10. Yeah. So we're right on the doorstep. Yeah, straight up the middle. Another nice flight. Bouncy, bouncy. Rory, okay. appro Rory approach shop incoming. It's the green. <laughs> the green. I'll chip up two ports, buggy. 1.30. 1.30, slightly downhill, slightly downwind. Yeah. And just to give the guys an idea of what we're just literally just talking about, that is our hotel right there. So literally 50 yards from the golf course. Yeah, it's just ultimate convenience, isn't it? You could argue that with 54 holes on site, great hotel, restaurant, bar, um, you've got local restaurants just outside the resort as well, literally like a two minute driveway. You've got a golf academy, you've got par three course, great practice facilities, spa, swimming pools, like you, there's an argument to be made that La Cala might be the best golf resort or all encompassing golf resort in Spain and like certainly one of the best in Europe as well. Yeah I think so and the, the fact everything is so close, yep. it's awesome, you, c you can come up like halfway up the mountain which is where La Cala is and you just don't need to leave it so it's a great, for me it's that ideal three day trip where you just come and just play loads of golf mm -hmm. with your mates so it's such an easy trip isn't it yeah it is an easy trip it's a great way to start our trip um speaking of easy this it should be the easy this shot but oh yeah <laughs> don't be short <laughs> oh fatted it so sorry stay there Whew. I actually feel kind of lucky that it stopped there again slightly fat and it's just pitched the crown of this slope and I'm surprised it hasn't gone back further. I do feel like we will make an up and down at some point. Well we've got plenty of practice. <laughs> so she's got to kind of fly this like almost halfway to the hole so it looks like she's got a 52 I would guess. She doesn't take out less loft than that but then again she does have to clear that hump in front of her. Yeah, nicely played so, very good. Even I should be able to hold that one. Yeah, we'll take that. Right, nice shot, so. Thanks. A little bit in this, isn't there? Tiny bit. There we go, we've got we it made up and it up down. And down. Whoop, whoop. Ninth hole, par five, back up the hill towards the clubhouse, 470 yards. Now, yeah, we do run out of fairway at some point, but we've done some rough calculations, we think. A good one of these will get just up to the cut-off point, I think. Yeah. Healy cut up the middle. Healy cut? Perfect line, though. I would say that you took a little bit off that. Well, just through to... But it's so extreme, that's down there. So yeah. that's losing probably 20 yards. Which is ideal. Yeah. Ideal. That means we're not running out of fairway. And it bounced right, it should be all good. As we lie, we're in fairly decent shape. Green out of reach. Yes, it is out of reach. It's, I mean, it's, for that, it's all carry, isn't it? It's 240 something. Yeah, and this type of lie, so. Well, I don't think even if I was hitting a really good three wood, I'd be struggling to get there. Well, it's um, because you hit it high, but it comes out flat because. Yeah, because the green is, yeah. So, so we're going to not be defeatist. I would say to Soph that <laughs> despite the shots we've hit so far, a full shot would probably be better than me pitching because then I've got the duffs, haven't I? So we're going to try and be brave and she's going to get me as close to the green yeah. as possible, basically. Well, I did ask him what club he wants to look. <laughs> what's your favourite yardage? I said, oh, what, what's your, your number for pitching? And he kind of looks at me to go, so... Just get it near yeah, the green and we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, get it close and I'll get it hopefully on and not duff it and then at least we're walking away with a par. So what we got? Uh, I've just got the hybrid just because it is, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but it's quite a lot below the thing. Here, yeah. So. What is it? The three iron hybrid? Yeah. Or, yeah. Get right. Oh yeah, it's fine. It'll move off that one. Cool. Yeah. Up the hill again. The good thing about this place, you don't get side slopes, do you? You're very much up or down the hill, which is good. Yeah, you do yeah, you get a lot of flat lies. Yeah. Um, okie doke. On the green, two putts, maybe even one. Yeah, come on, let's zone in on this. Commit to this strike. Good. 
good strike. Oh, come back off the hill. That could, could be work. good. <laughs> oh, no, that's no, come through you know the fringe. That, that could be close. That was a really nice strike. And that sounded really patronising. Right, so if, while I'm happy to take full responsibility for all of our dropped shots, yeah. I'm also going to take responsibility for our birdies because you're not missing that. And oh. while that wasn't intentional... <laughs> no, do you know what? I'm all for that. We've been saying all day, make sure you go along with the flag. And he did, and he used the backstop. Yeah. Clever, Rory. Clever. <laughs> See, I've pitched it. Mm, probably just in the thicker stuff there, rolled back through the fringe to about two feet. Oh, lovely happy accident. Boom. Same ball. So revised, ball. revised target, level par. Oh, Foursomes with a chopper like me. A positive roaring. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> it's all that birdie juice I had it's last like, night. Yeah. <laughs> right guys, there we have it. Part one, done. Nine holes in. A few bogeys, couple of birdies, all good stuff. Um, if you enjoyed watching us play foursomes through the front nine here on the Asia course at La Cala, Make sure you tune in for part two. If you haven't already, subscribe to your golf travel channel. If you've got any questions about La Cala, about Costa del Sol in general, whack them in the comments section or email me at raymond at yourgolftravel.com. Give the video a thumbs up if you fancy it as well. And we'll see you in part two.